Is it just me, or does that burger have a tail? It's a kid's meal. Kids like surprises. What the, what the fuck? <laughs> Sponsoring today's video, we have GVG Mall. Now with their new Black Friday promotion, where you can use my SKG discount code and get 30% off, making your Windows 10 Pro only $13. After getting the key, you'll have it in your profile, and all you need to do is go to your Windows settings, and BAM! You have an activated system. So guys, uh, my build is finally done and I finally have the cooling system, let me just... Just show you. La, 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 la. Yeah, it's huge. Basically, a Mars Gaming one, 360 millimeters, and the model is ML360. Thanks, Mars Gaming, by the way. So now I will be testing finally the 12600K. But before that, I just want to to do um, a simple and the usual casual uh, unboxing of the Gigabyte. Aorus Elite DDR4, so basically a DDR4 motherboard for the um, the 12600K, okay? Okay, let's open, let's take out the motherboard. I already took it out just to, to see how it looks, but that's it. Okay. Okay, let, let's just see the box first. In the front of the box we have the Z. 690 Aorus Elite DDR4 The Intel Core supports 12th generation Intel Core processors and the Intel chipset Z690 of course PCI Express 5 but in this case only DDR4 because I picked a DDR4 motherboard I will later get a DDR5 one to test okay Also let's let me just see here there's a thing saying design for DDR4 memory module only Memory module is not included, of course. Okay, as for the side, we have the usual, so Z690 Auras, blah, blah, blah. On the other side, the same. On the front, basically the same, saying the, the socket, LGA1700. And in the back, we have a bit more info. In the back, we have um, a picture of how the motherboard looks. We have the phases. The direct digital VRM design with six V-core phases, VCGD, uh, and 70 amps power stage with two VCC aux phases, auxiliary, I think. Okay, so pretty nice if you ask me. As for the advanced thermal design, we have fully covered MOSFETs heat sinks, integrated IO armor, basically the integrated IO shield. Um, and two times enlarged M2 thermal guards, which may be good and may be bad, but well. We have the PCI Express 5 hardware design. We have ultra storage performance with four times PCIe 4 um, M2 connectors. So basically, the, both the NVMe, um, the NVMe slots and the PCI slots are uh, 4.0, which is not that bad. We also have USB 3.2 Gen 2. Two, uh, two times two type C so USB 3.2 type C that's pretty nice and I think we have two connections so or it's called just gen 2 x2 whatever okay let's for the motherboard let's see how it looks okay and let me tell you right away let me tell you right away because it is heavy let me just adjust this a bit it is heavy as hell really really heavy the motherboard maybe because of the shields of course mostly here on the m2 part but look at this it is gorgeous it is gorgeous simply gorgeous okay so basically we have the the power phases here so one eight pin and one four pin the power connections for the cpu okay then we have here the I.O. shield, let's see the I.O. shield. So we have four USBs in the top, plus two USBs after that. We also have four integrated graphics, we also have the HDMI and DisplayPort, and we have the USB 3.2 type, uh, type C, so the one that they were calling like 2x2, something like that, which is 
sorry, which is here. We have another USB, two more USB. So in the end, we have one, two, three, four, five. We have nine USBs, which is very, very good for people in need of connections. Then we have the, um, the soundboard, which doesn't seem to be that great, but at least we have one line out and one microphone. But it's the first time that I actually see a current motherboard with only two connections. Interesting. As for the Ethernet, it seems also normal, 2.5G, okay. Um, and yeah, basically, as for the PCI Express, we have one, one protected PCI Express slot, so one with the armor slot, and the other ones are normal ones, so the other ones do not feature the armor slot, only this one. And the same applies for the RAM, something that I can't really understand, which is only one only one of the channels, which is the main channel, the slot 2 and 4, have the armored thing. So basically, uh, the other ones, the slot 1 and 3, do not have the armor protection. Which is something that I, I, I kind of find hard to understand, okay? But yeah. Also, we have here the chip, the Amp Up Studio, and the chip there. Um, I don't think, I don't really know if the sound is good or not because I did not test it yet, so, of course. Uh, one thing that I don't really like, okay, we have the armor, but we do have to take off all these things to actually be able to put the, the NVMe there, and I, yeah, too much work in my opinion, but well, and in some cases the shields can actually bring higher temperatures instead, instead of the contrary, of bringing lower ones, so... Yeah, we also have USB 3.2 generation here. Oh, let me just here. Yep, USB 3.2 for your case. So external USB and yeah, the back of the of the motherboard. Yeah. And basically, I don't think there's much more for me to show you actually. There's not much more indeed. I actually forgot to show you the inside. Of the of the case, so we have the Gigabyte manual, multilingual, multilingually exactly. Uh, installation guide, okay, where you have the installation guides of the CPUs, the sockets, how to do it, and blah blah blah. Okay, so the usual guide. We also have a normal guide for the motherboard, which is very interesting to have. So Z for Z six hundred and ninety hours elite. This is the same manual for all these motherboards. The, the Elite, the Elite AX, Elite DDR4, and the Elite, Elite AX DDR4. Basically, all the same, okay? So, yeah. Then we have this. So, an, our symbol. Very nice, and it is rigid. It is not wobbling. Yeah, it's very rigid. Nice, very nice. This, this is so much better than the Intel logo. Nice. So, in the bottom, what do we have here? Okay. In the bottom, we have... We have two SATA cables. SATA 3 cables. Two of them. Okay. We have these little screws, which are for the NVMe slots. So, once you, you want to use uh, an NVMe, NVMe slot, sorry, or an NVMe hard drive, you actually need this screw to actually put pressure in the NVMe, okay? So we have another one here because, well, because there are two NVMe slots, but why, why not put the two screws inside the same plastic? Whatever. Um, and we have another two like this. I just can't understand, sorry. Uh, and we have, oh, we have a G connector, that's, that's really interesting, so basically, yeah, we have this G connector, so this is what, um, these are the pins that you, that you actually put to connect your computer, to reset it, as you can see, so here, so power LED, power, I mean power, LED, the, um, CI, I don't know what CI is, the reset and the HD, okay? But yeah, basically that's it, you connect this to the motherboard and then it, it is way easier to connect the, 
the connections here from from your from your case because it is so much easier okay it's simpler to just go here and put them here okay instead of having to work your fingers into the motherboard and the pins and so on so much easier nice now as for the core i5 12600k it is basically as basic as it can be so as for the package it's uh, intel changed a bit the um, the design going from for example the 10th gen to the 11th one for example as you can see here the design is the same as the the 11th one this is the 11400f and this is the 12600k this one so basically the design is the same with some ex exchange of the colors but it is basically the same as for the 10th generation it is already different so yeah it is different the co the colors the um, the the type the the font sorry everything is different basically so yeah and well in the front we have the 12600k lga 1700 12th gen i5 on the side we have the barcodes on the back we have some some things like some specifications the contents the in old continent blah 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 basically several languages saying what it contains useless so no specifications and yeah that's it so opening it where do i open it maybe here so opening the case we basically have a manual so we have the manual where the sticker is so the sticker is in the manual you can simply take it off and put it on your case or everything you want on your table whatever on your fridge you pick a nice touch something that i haven't seen before and then we have this this piece of shit cardboard where the cpu is and basically that's it a piece of shit cardboard that is doing some damage here I'm failing <laughs> okay so basically here it is the CPU okay 12600k and well my friends that's all for today's video thanks a lot for watching this casual unboxing and as you know the next one will be the uh, the i5 12600k versus Ryzen 5 5600x or the opposite the 5600x versus the 12600 k okay uh with several tests in several games i managed to do all the tests before my 60 my 5500 x just burned okay i managed to do almost every test aside from the cinebench so that's why we're still having that video thanks a lot and see you in the next one <laughs>